And then this front windshield got to come out now. And I want to do a pre-coat underneath it so it's layered, sand it down. Hopefully with everything else we can paint it again. So front window should come out. Uh, hopefully it stays together. <laughs> guys thanks for tuning in to this episode of wide up and throttle more coming to you with the volkswagen uh, a few things in store tonight front window removal black primer pieces sanding and reprimer and then paint up underneath the uh, kind of vent and above the engine compartment i think that's the game plan tonight i got an hour or two to work on it after work today so we're going to keep on going all right, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, that spot right there above and the brackets. I want to paint the brackets and all that black. Work on sanding down that stuff and get it primered. And then this front windshield got to come out now. And I want to do a pre-coat underneath it so it's layered, sand it down. Hopefully with everything else we can paint it again. So front window should come out. Uh, hopefully it stays together. My brother ordered a brand new one online. It's sitting in bubble wrap in my living room waiting to be installed. So let's get this first. Remove this window. Okay, front window removal. There's that shiny strip that sticks inside of the rubber to create space to keep pressure on the glass to keep it in the rubber or something like that so the idea is you pop off the top right here and you can peel it out and hopefully push your window out so we'll see how this goes I'm not sure what's going to happen hopefully this will come out it's a little dark we'll see if I get a light over on this side a little more so I can see what I'm doing Okay, that's a little better. Got a little LED light there. Hopefully we can see. So let me get a screwdriver and some pliers. See if we can take this sucker off, get this window out. could really use a second hand right now.
Well, that took a little longer than I expected. So here is why you put the headliner in first. That trim from the windows, go up and hold your headliner in. Looks like there's a clip too. Maybe I need to look for some of those headliner clips. So yeah, look at the amount of dirt and sticks and junk in this area. And that's why I wanted it out. I just had to wait for the final paint. So I'm going to go through and clean that up, sand it all out. Put some rust stopping primer. Uh, I got some rust oleum brush on stuff. I'll put in there. It doesn't look rusted, just dirty. And then I'll be able to uh, paint that. Then it will all be ready for a final coat. Because that doesn't really matter. I just want it extra thick and nice and clean and full of paint so it doesn't rust in the future. It's popped out. They're a little sunbaked, but this one's like literally peeling apart and crumbling. So I'm going to have to find out what this vent is and order one. This is no good. That is junk. It's just crumbly and nasty. So, I need to look for some vents to go up in there. So I'm taking a razor and I'm cleaning up all the edges of leftover, I don't know, glue or gasket or whatever it is. Just making sure the edges are clean before I sand them so I don't get rubber and junk in the sand, pads and paper so I can keep going. So I'm going to keep using the razor, cleaning off the edges and see where we go from there. All right guys, that's how you remove a front window. Uh, make sure you plan on replacing the gasket because you might have to cut it out. Which was way easier cutting it out, peeling off the outside and be able to push it. And once you, you saw there in the clip, the rest of the gasket actually came out with the window once the initial window was moving out of the space. So I got up the window cleaned up. Uh, the only thing to do is hit it with a sand block, clean up all those areas, make sure it's all primed and prepped, ready for some paint. And then I'll paint that just like I did here. We extra primered it and uh, put extra coats and stuff in there to make sure they are watertight and they won't rust for the future. So let's move over here. I did find some leftover black paint work on cleaning up underneath here and spraying some of these uh, metal pieces on the engine part 
cover up some paper just to get it to look nicer underneath there. It won't be perfect, but it'll look way better than it is. So we're going to work on that. Switch, switch uh, channels and go down there and work on painting the engine bay. Alright guys, that's the spot. We want the cover right there. Up there. So let me get a light here. See if we can see that a little better. I think so. I'm going to wipe her down. Hit it with the sand pad a little bit. Cover up the engine and stuff for overspray. And go from there. Is that looking ten times better up there I like it I got some plans for the engine bay and some engine accessories in the future so then we can finish painting that kind of firewall black and then the insides but I think it'll be easier if the engine is out so we'll see how that goes and then that old rusty thing I want to get that out fix that up nice if I can Got our sander down, got some spray on primer to protect it. We'll put some paper behind it, give it some primer love. Alright guys, there it is. That's what we can get done for tonight. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wide Open Throttle Garage as we continue to finish up this Volkswagen Beetle. So the front windows out, more stuff painted, more stuff priming. So good progress tonight. Uh, didn't get as far as I wanted, but I'm out of time. It is what it is. So that means there's more coming to you in the next day or two. So thanks for tuning in to this episode. 
Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I'll chat with you in the comments. Till next time.